I think it, it has definitely helped us manage online marking. We also integrate the Turnitin, um, the plagiarism checks as part of that system. So we look at anything over, um, or our plagiarism officer looks at anything with a submission of over 25%. Or if there's been students where there's been concerns in the past, then they will be, um, they'll also look at, look at their Turnitin reports. Um, so that's been, that's very helpful. Um, generally, certainly, once you've got the setups right, and from dealing with the majority of students whose marks, who submit on time, whose comments are ready on time, and you release to a large number of students at the same time, works very well. Um, slightly more difficult when you have individual students that may submit late, or um, you have to create resubmission links for, so you use an adaptive releases, which get a bit more complicated. Um, I think Blackboard's got some Turnitin's got some improvements it could do, you know, to look at there to help it uh, improve in the future. But um, so we, we manage, we do get to, we get around it one way or another. So, so overall. Yeah. Um, I think just being able to manage the volume and the increased student numbers that we had, um, it became apparent the systems that we were using couldn't cope with the numbers and the numbers of staff that were having to deal with the assignments. So we needed to find a solution that um, that worked for our students that were literally working online anyway, doing all their course, literally all across the world, um, and and something that then at the other end, once we had the, the comments and the marks, we could then get back to the students without a lot of processing of individual marks in between. So, um, and then I, I so the submission of um, the assignments um, came hand in hand with also being able to use the, the plagiarism check-in facilities that Turnitin offers. So it's looking at ways that um, we could use Turnitin and also have a system to actually handle the assignments thereafter as well. Um, so I think we started it um, nearly two years ago now for the students. Um, submitted online. I think previously they'd done them by email as attachments. Um, I think general feedback from students, they, they find it okay. Um, we haven't done a lot of, we haven't asked a great deal how they find it, but we don't get a, too many problems either from their end. They seem quite happy. They seem to have more problems at the other end when it comes to actually finding where the comments are and, and things like that. They would provide them advice, guidance, where to go. So. The main concern for us was how to continue to first and second mark and keep that audit trail there of what was, was going on. In Turnitin you only have the facility to record one mark through grade mark. Um, so we actually had a kind of bit of a team meeting of, and, and with some people from CDDU um, to come up with ideas of how to set up a the system to manage the marking as well. So we had the actual submission into Turnitin was fairly straightforward. Um, the marking we just used the the quick comments and the um, the grade mark comments. Always provided guidance for markers of a structure for those comments. Um, and and then thereafter we created in Grade Centre some columns where the marks are entered. Um, and recorded so we have um, a first mark, a second mark, um, an agreed mark and a final mark which is the only one that the student sees. Um, we found, I found the, certainly the advising markers what to do, most of them pick it up fairly well. We have, you have some, difficult, some difficulties in kind of getting the relationship between grade or turning and being an external feature of um, Blackboard and then Grade Centre being part of Blackboard, that takes a bit of getting your head around how that works. Um, and, and, but generally, once we've, once we've worked out a, a way to, to make, that worked for us, um, it's not been, it's been okay. So. Generally, very well. Most of them you don't hear anything from. They obviously, they go on, um, they get their mark. They have to go to two places. Wanting to view grades to see their mark, 
and then one into um, the, through the great through the submit here link to go and get their feedback. Um, most of the time, they'll if, if there is a problem, um, they'll contact us, and then we can have a look. We'll check the links, check everything set up. Sometimes it might be that we've slightly missed something on the setup. Other times, it, it's quite often we ask them to send us a screenshot. That normally sorts them sorts the problem out um, or we'll resend them back the feedback the, how to access your comments the guidance they'll have a look through there again um, I think most of them like the feedback online um, a few of them ask us how they can download it afterwards which is possible they can save the comments for themselves as well um, I say I haven't done any in-depth of how they found the quick comments but I think generally um, and certainly our externals have commented that our feedback is quite is, is good um, and I think that's because of the combination of being able to give the grade mark feedback and the, and the quick comments on there as well.